Hi everyone. Well, another glorious day outside. Part two. We've made the base for this um, pocket letter, accordion file flip folder thingamajig. So, envelopes and pockets. Now I went on and printed off. I've got, if I show you, I told you I've been going through my stash. I can't remember how many years I've had this this graphic 45 cityscapes. I've never used it. It's always been too expensive, I think is the word I'm looking for to use. So I took a 12 by 12 sheet. I have cut out one pocket, one library pocket and one envelope. And I have to say, I also cut out some, did a bit of fussy cutting and got bits from it. So there's not much left from the, the 12 by 12 sheets, but I do actually feel quite good about that. I, because my grandson likes lists and architecture, I have been, and I bought this book years ago. And it's just uh, because I also like it. So I took a page, I've cut it down to size, and then I've got some just some very, very cheap graph paper. I've taken uh, five sheets of the graph paper, cut it down to size, and then I've just, I've actually stitched across the top, but simply because my sewing machine is already, it's all set up. So easy just to staple across the top and then what I will do is glue that down when I'm ready to do that one. So that's that one I've got. So let's make envelopes and pockets. I suppose at least with me being shown on screen you can see when I disappear. Right, library pockets. Now I've got a, a scoreboard. I have taken a black marker pen down the middle because I find it easier to try and line it up when I'm doing it this way. The idea is you're trying to get... So if I zoom in a bit... You're trying to get the fold line, or where your join is, in the middle. For me, that's the centre. I'm hoping I'm making sense. And then scoring. I find it easier to actually do it halfway down. And then, oh, let's go that way, one across to make the pocket fold up. These are the templates that I've, I've put on, on my website. The link was below video number one. So then they fold up. I will score these in a minute. That doesn't quite work when it's folded round the back. So that'll be pocket number one. The one thing I will say is when you're cutting it out, you're cutting it upside down so that when you fold it up, it's the right way. The times that I've got that wrong. And the same for the envelope. So the envelope, if that's the top of the envelope, the flap, Everything is cut upside down. Oops. Right, let's start with this one. So I am aiming to get where it bends in the middle of this in the middle of this uh, channel, or where I'm scoring. I don't always do it. It doesn't always work. But you can ease it through when you're um, coming to fold it up. Okay, 
this is too big to go that way. Follow it. So there we have. Oh, oh. So if sometimes if you find that your score line hasn't quite got there you can sort of ease it over a bit or maybe not sort of score it or not use your bone folder on it until you've got it into the right place because you can sort of push them out a little bit so that's those two done I think they were the only ones for the scoreboard My imitation bone folder. Genuine plastic that is. Oh, let me zoom you back out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Yep, genuine, genuine imitation bone. Right, so that's that one. This is actually quite thick cardstock. You forget sometimes, I haven't used designer paper in ages, one, not graphic 45 anyway. Oh, there we go, ready for gluing. What I did think, because these are so dark and it's for a lad, can't do it without, oops, got to have a bit of, um, ink around the edges so I thought I'd go round it with black no, because this side is going to be showing just go around those and the same with this one Come to do part two of the video. I'm having <laughs> such a bad time at the moment. Actually, no, I'm not having a bad time. My brain is just not not right. <laughs> Mind you, if you ask the kids, they tell you they'd say that was the case all the time. I think, but um, I come to upload part one of the video and then found I hadn't actually rotated the video so it looked so strange so consequently re-edited it start again now I I'm actually liking that black on there I think that suits that okay so let's glue these two down. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but I always put glue down both sides. I just make a note of where it finishes. Turn and press. And that opens. All right, let's do this one. Keep 
checking that up on the camera. Okay. So we have two envelopes on the the longest job is actually cutting them out. Those two. Now then, envelopes. So I've got two done. Those. Now I, like I say, I've been going through my stuff. I have so many. And I do mean, these are just some of them. Six by six paper packs. I buy them because they're, when they're on special offer, yeah, a pound. So I want something that's going to go with those. That's too light. That orange, I suppose, might have done, but I've cut into it now. Um, we could go for blue. Right. And we are memory keepers, envelope school board. Now for a six by six sheet of paper, with the school boards, you're supposed to use these things because they're not quite as sharp as say your normal stylus. Which is why um, the stylus actually would go through the paper. Sorry, miles away. Right, so for a 6x6 six six piece of paper, you need to position it, if I lift this up, at the two and a half, and you need it to be just the other side, or just on, on the start of the two and a half, of the half, if that makes sense. Right, so, let's go. Oops, I'll tell you what I didn't do. So, is that where? Yep. Um, punch your hole. I will put a template up for a small envelope, but it'll just be a, a square envelope. Rather than uh, one that's shaped. So I like this one. But just straight across. Because I appreciate not everybody has got one of these. And that's one. So what you're doing is following the lines around and lining that up in the center of the hole you've just uh, the line you've just scored and it may or may not work see that that one's off but let's give it a go see how we get on sometimes the papers aren't lined up square okay so if it doesn't quite let's zoom in so if it doesn't quite line up just pull it in a touch until you've got it straight on that side so I've ignored the score mark and just pulled it in a bit more so if I do the same on this one a main shot yeah so that one is okay that one it's gone off a bit so I'm just pulling it over um, I'm actually just using the back of my thumbnail to, to push that down right yeah, that one Whichever one's your top. Corner punch. This thing it has a built in one, although that doesn't look. Oh, 
Okay, that's that one. Now I've seen very clever ladies, Andrea from um, Artie Mays, and she tucks it over for the life of me. I cannot get it in a straight line to to tuck it over. I don't know if you. Let's give it a go. So I'm guessing it's folded back. Yeah, somebody once asked me once what I'd tool I'd be most lost with and I have to say it's me it's gotta be me thumbnails. So if that's folded over I'm guessing it might be easier once I've glued it, but I don't want to glue it and then find I can't do it. Okay, let's give that a go. I need two. Just get around this. I'm assuming that's going to tuck over. That's the bottom. There's always a little bit of the envelope when I do it, which shows. Okay. So where are we getting from? So I've put that over. I've put my fingernail roughly where it joins and as I say, I don't know if this is overkill, if this is the way you're meant to do it. It's the way that works for me. So, hold the sides down, push that in, fold that over, ooh! Wow, I've actually got it to work. I'm guessing a bit of glue in there. Okay, I'll go with that, that works. That's the bit that's going to show, so I'm only going to do because I'm going to actually stick that into the book like that. That's that one, and so oops, what have we got? Oh, it's just incredible. Sorry, let me zoom back out. There we go. Just going to. And this. So that one's going there. And then I'm thinking, let me zoom out a bit more so you can see. That one, those two. This one I've decided I'm going to hinge. And I'm going to put a card in the back and then this one is going to let's get rid of some of this I think I'll have that one there and that one there and then will it go away any further no that's it so if I turn it on an angle you can see it all I'm liking that Oh, it just shows them you're thinking of them. I think it doesn't matter how old you are, you just enjoy getting things through the post. I know you watch our young ladies, and uh, I guess <laughs> we've got a new young lady, um, a 16 year old, soon to be 17 year old, just joined us. She got a letter through the post, bless her, and it was like, Oh, wow. Right. 
And so one, and last one. Do you know, I always forget to do this. I get so engrossed and carried away in what I'm doing. I was going to put one of these in, wasn't I, instead? Ooh! It's a good job you reminded me. Yeah, that can go there. We have enough variety and enough different hiding places. I tend to stick these down simply because the people that these they're intended for aren't perhaps the most careful, bless. But, you know, if you wanted to leave them open to as extra tuck spots at the back. So I want to make sure that they're not, they, they've really got to be yanked to come off. And, and uh, I'm saving on weight as well, if I'm honest. Right. Those are all in position, and now it's on to the decorating. I will be right back. Hi everyone. Right, I have been, so part two of two. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even sure where I left off. It's It's been 24 hours and I have been to bed, so hopefully catching up. Right, I've laid my pockets out where I want them, or envelopes and what have you. Decorating. Now then, I'm thinking these are really, what's the word I'm thinking of? Decorative, fussy. There's a lot going on. Whatever I put on there, now I was thinking, do I just leave it? Ah, uh, maybe I could. Now I thought, it needs a bit of something. So I've got some offcuts of what I've made the actual folder out of. And I've got some stickers, of course. And I'm thinking I might put this on the front and that will allow him just to, to write on there as he wants. Well, that's my way of thinking about it anyway. Let's just trim that down a touch. Do you know what? I think I could even get it to follow the corners. I don't know about you, I always find it easier to have everything laid out as I think I want it. And then, uh, so I don't forget. Yep, I, I'm quite liking that. So that will stand out on there. Okay. Black ink, because that's what I've gone round everything else with. I don't know, wherever you're watching, if you're having the same weather as we are at the moment. It is crazy hot. Well, for the UK. Okay. Well, no, I am not going to make it dimensional with a foam tab or whatever. That is up to Bradley. That's my grandson, or well, one of them. Sorry, folks. Just suddenly realised I hadn't switched my mic on. Funny old times we're living in. Right, let's put that on there, I think. Actually, I got a little. There we go. And just a little glue at the back. To put that down. Just adds a bit of something, perhaps. 
yeah, quite like that, and it won't catch when I fold it over. Right. Now, like I said before, I'm gluing these all the way around simply because they might withstand. <laughs> they might withstand them a bit longer than if I just uh, have them as open pockets. I'm thinking that looks a bit central. Now this one. When I fussy cut when I cut these out, uh the graphic 45 papers, I also fussy cut a load of the stuff that was left over. So I'm thinking that I need so I can't find it. Here we go. It needs something at the back, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is actually make a tag. That looks to be about the right kind of length. So I'm going to... And I've even got my cutter set up on my bench. How organised am I? Right, so, little... Little tag. Cut the corner off. Flip it round. I get these hopelessly wrong unless I do this. Ooh, choices. Now I can either have that side. No, I'm thinking that side. That shows it off a bit better. Right, a bit more black. I need a hole punch. Stay with me. One hole punch. And a bit. Now, obviously, if you're <laughs> if you're making this for, I've I have to say I have got a couple that I've made up to send out as um, what do they call them? Racks, random acts of kindness, and I've actually really enjoyed making these. They've sort of got my brain working again. So I've got a couple sent uh, ready to go, ready to be posted out, and uh, I have perhaps well, no, I have done a lot more decoration on them than I'm doing on these. So what do we reckon? So if that's going there, because then it won't matter if the string hangs over the edge. Okay. I want that about there. In fact, I think let's trim the string. There we go. Right. Let's glue this down. Yeah, these have been a great way of uh, getting back into the flow. Forgetting about all the terrible things that are going on in the world at the moment. Right. That one. And then I've got this fussy cut. Oh, anybody think I planned this? Those that know me will know that I haven't.
Right, now my book. Now I am going to stick this down. Bradley likes his lists, so he now has plenty of room with which to write them. I'm just saying that. It's the only kid I know that would rather have a glue gun for Christmas. Ah, oh, maybe an Xbox game. But was absolutely made up when his mum bought him a glue gun. I was so impressed. Right, done. Let's leave that one for a minute because I want to stamp on that one. Okay, number one, two, three, four. Oh, it's been a long week. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing the same type of thing, except for this envelope. I've got some more of the little stamps that I've cut out. Now on the other one I put little dots, uh, velcro dots and mm, not the best. So I'm thinking that that will hold it close. Maybe if I was to do that it might be a bit sturdier. Yeah, I like that, except it doesn't show up. So, just a bit of medical gauze. That's better. Adds a bit of interest. Right, that's... It's going too fast for me own good. I can't run about right. Yep. So that one about there. So all of that will need to glue down and half that one. Okay. Sorted. And then I need something for the top. Now I've got some of these stickers. I've had some um when I was playing around when I first started making them. That needs a bit more blue. That's better. And so, yeah, with the cheap sort of paper on the back. Mm, not very good. Now I found some um I've got a load of Tim Holtz, there we go, Stampers Anonymous ones. And then I've also got some of these from Dilusions, journal ones. I ah, thought, so important, remember, yep, those all do for Bradley. So I need a bit of card. So I think we're going to go for important if I can get it off now what I'm going to do is go for stone grey because then my way of thinking is that I'm matching with the black matching with the grey on the picture Ooh, I've never used this one before Okay, let's hope it works. Ooh, 
Oh, that looks pretty, pretty good. Yep, liking that. Important. Oops. Sorry, stays on. I do forget these things. Yeah, I'm thinking that can go up there. And then there. That actually doesn't show up very well. So, Posca pen. Oil based pens, these are. And they're brilliant as long as I. They are so easy though, just to go over the edge or. Oops. There we are, nearly done. I need something to cover up my mistake on the corner. But can you see how that um, just highlights, makes it pop out a little bit more? Right, let's stick this one down. Little boy is going up here somewhere. I don't want to rub on the uh, label just yet, just in case it's not 100% dry. I could do with some to cover that up. Oh, I quite like that stamp. Okay. Too big as it is. So, just cut the ends off. Quick dab. Yep, quite like that. It's just... Adds a bit of interest, doesn't it? These things do. So, where do we reckon? About that. And it's covered up my mistake. Love it. And now I've got this envelope to go on the bottom. Do you know what? I'm thinking that that was um, uh, right. This is <laughs> oh, this is a mess. I knew you'd need to sort this out. I have got bits everywhere. Now then. What have we got? Oh, quite like in that. Oh, so I think. Do you know what? That might just do it, although it's very big. What else have we got? Oh, 
creepy looking dragonfly. I wonder actually if that one might have a velcro dot on it. The colours go well. What else we got? Oh, hedgehog. Oh, how about that for fastening down? If I just trim off the bottom a bit, because he's a bit too tall. Oops. Don't really want him with pointed toes. Do you know what? I'm liking that. Okay. So, how I judge where he's got to go. So, what I've got from the tail, move my fingers out of the way. So, I've lined him up on the bottom. I can see, if I turn it around, you might be able to see a bit better. I can see the bottom of the envelope. So, I know. how far up I've got to glue, so just from the tail across, so that bumpy bit. This might not last very long once it gets used. I really like that. Let's just slide him over a touch. I suppose what I could do actually is also just glue that little bit down. Now I've got too much glue in there and I know that will squirt out. There we go. Hey! Still need some up for the top. What have we got? Keep him with a black and white theme. The only thing to remember with an envelope is don't put it past this edge, otherwise it catches, as I found out. So if I have him just pointing towards that corner. Hmm. Let's go for a bit of, a bit of course. What do we think? Swench it up. Yep. Oh joy. Oh, there we go. Come on down a bit. Hey. Let's glue this one down. Oh, yeah, we're nearly done. Okay, and that way. And now for the last one. Now I've gone out and clear some space. This is a, a coin envelope. Oh, I've had them for quite a while. Uh, Amazon. 
everything comes off Amazon out down here. <laughs> we don't have craft shops. We have well, we have a hobby craft, but it's not brilliant. Right, so I'm thinking the stamp is anonymous. Uh, type out. Typography? Typography? Typography. So, I was looking at it and I thought, ooh, I actually quite like that. I don't mind if it comes off the edge. I quite like that one. I mean, that's dirty. I need something to cover that up. Because I don't... It should be all right, sort of going in over the the plastic, but it's mm, it takes forever to dry, and I'm too impatient. So it just got a masking tape. Oops. Oh, where are we going? Out there. And that little bit. You know, like when you do your kitchen. There we go. Right, same ink. Stays on stone grey. <clears throat> Making sure I'm in shot. This is... I can't remember the last time I've used these. I have to say this this process of uh, going through and clearing out and tidying up and it has been very the amount of things I've found. I don't know what you've been like. You'll have to let me know sort of the things that you've come across. Right, I'm gonna have to pull this in towards me because I can't actually see it there. So I want him I want the pen level with the top if I can. Not quite. Oh that looks good. Yay! Blimey. Then I thought for the bottom if I keep it all the same same stamp set, I thought we'd have the stars on the bottom. I've never used these, can you tell? I've had them. How many years? So it's been a voyage of discovery these last couple of weeks have been. So there we go. About Let's try and keep it central. Hey. And then... Hmm. Oh, actually, I could stump it across the top. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Where are we? Am I out to? Oops, I oh, pushed too hard. Okay, let's cover me in up. Now that this has to go on here. I was debating on different washi tapes and I'm thinking, but it's got to be black and white really because that's what the rest of it's got to be, so I pulled out either piano keys or music and I thought the p piano keys ones I struggle with. It's, it's a, a cheap, a cheap washi tape and boy don't I know it. Right, I don't know how you do yours, this is the easiest way I've found of doing mine which is, so obviously not that bit because that's the top of the pocket. So for the one side I just take it down a 
bit of the way. Now I want this to go over. I want my envelope to be on the five zoom in. You can see what I mean. I've got the join here where I join the two big bits together. The two pieces, the base pieces. So I want that to go over there. Just to match up, it gives me a line. Now I do that one. And then I... Let's run my nail along it. Because that's what fingernails are for. And then this side... Oops, I need to... Fold that under proper. So, line it up. And then I can take it all the way. Right, now this won't open because I've got the tape on the side. So I've just used my nail and I'm just breaking the tape. If I can get this bit to stick. And then that, now if I'd have been a bit clever, I'd have made that tape a bit bigger on the back. But that tape is not holding now, whether it's because it's so warm or because it's cheap and rubbish. Not entirely sure. So, rub some glue down. And stick the tape down. That's the problem with cheap tape. It either sticks to everything or it sticks to nothing. In my experience. I might have just got some really bad stuff. Okay. Now because... I'm wondering, because that is so rubbish, if I can actually do it a bit better. So I'm going to rip that as an angle. or not but at the moment that doesn't look too bad cut that end piece off right and to finish off I have got just a few little bits that's going to annoy me I know that is going to annoy me Right, I've just got a few, I'm using up all my bits, I think is the word I'm looking for. So, that one on there. You easily do this with any kind of paper you've got, card. Oh boy, these are sticky. Oh, washi tape like these stickers. I'm going to offset it because it pleases me. I've already edged those with a bit of the, the black distressing. I need some string on there, which I will find out in a bit. Get rid of that. And then... I will find something to decorate the front. All I use for the ties is um, elastic, elastic cord that I use on my travel notes and that type of thing, or lace, or anything you've got. 
It's all about, for me at the moment, it's about using up and making use of all the stuff I have got. So there we go. One little, or lots of little, travel notes. So we have the notepad. So we've got pockets, envelopes. There is a big envelope there. A couple of little places to write in. An envelope there. And, just checking they still open, another envelope there. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to have a mad one, I think, on Tuesday. At the moment, it's bank holiday here. So Tuesday, I will go and make my postman's day, or our post office day, and go and drop a load of these into the post. Enjoy your Easter, folks. Um, it's probably not going to be what it should be, but, uh, you know, we will get there. We will get there. Keep crafting, keep calm, as the saying goes. Right, I'm going to decorate the front and then I'm done. Enjoy yourself. Speak to you later. Bye.